for showing up to watch your singles reading for the month of October and into November. I was a little late in making this, my apologies. So October 10th through November 10th, and this is for anyone Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, although personally I think your Moon sign is going to resonate the best. So if you don't know your Moon sign, there's a description box link or there's a link in the description box that'll take you to some website that shows you how to figure all that out. And without further ado, we'll just get started. So Cancers, how are you seeing yourself this month in regards to love? Well, anything's possible and you know it. You're kind of embracing your happiness, which is a good thing. And in that positive state, you're more um, inclined or the opportunity for you to create things like from your mind using the law of attraction, like manifesting them into reality is super good for you. Um, I'm sorry, I just got to do something quickly here with my laptop. Okay, so how are others seeing you this month? Well, they're not really seeing you if you're not going out. You might be really busy with work. You might be busy with home things, um, getting your home ready for winter if you live here in the United States, that kind of a thing. Um, but also, you might just be tired. You might be just not feeling, you know, your sexiest self. Um, and so, like, wanting to be around other people and forging deep connections might just not be your jam right now. Uh, or at least that's the vibe that you're putting out there. So what should you be avoiding this month? And what they say is um, avoid telling yourself that like this is the end. Like this is just how it's going to be. That things aren't going to change because they really are. The thing is, is that you don't have to make any decisions right now about that. This is just like a weird little phase that we're going through. This has been a very strange astrological year in regards to our love lives and the lessons that we're learning. Um, they're like, but as soon as you kind of realize that and you start to take action, you start um, talking to other people, you know, just smiling at strangers in public, that'll be a good thing. But they're like, um, you know, you're kind of lying to yourself that about your love situation, perhaps this month. You're kind of like, oh, well, you're, it's like there's a lot of things that we're telling ourselves that are maybe not the most positive. And then the trouble isn't that we have these thoughts. The trouble is that we believe them, right? Um, because they're not serving us for our highest good. So just be cognizant of that. Pay attention to what it is that you're doing. So um, what should you be doing this month in order to increase the likelihood of love coming into your life to like grow or attract it? And they say, um, whatever it is that you do to connect to spirit, whether it's prayer, whether it's meditation, whether it's yoga, whether no matter what it is, they're like, that would be something good for you. Um, whatever your practice is, because there is something here that you're not considering, that you're not thinking about, that you're not seeing. And just because it's maybe a difficult reality to face, it's something that you don't want to think about, <laughs> maybe because it's painful. And they're like, just this lack of will is kind of permeating um, this whole 30 day period. And the trouble with that is then it puts all of your, whatever it is you're trying to manifest on hold, right? Whatever it is, the things that you're desiring for your life, especially for your love life. It's like the universe wants to bring them to you, but you're putting your own walls up and you're blocking yourself from receiving it. And so they're asking you to think long term. Like, what kind of person do I want to be with for the long term? Like, what is the kind of person that I want to be with when I'm 90 years old and, you know, like my sex drive is gone, that I want to be sitting next to and like kind of looking back on my life. And um, they say, no, that's maybe going to be hard for you to think about because it's going to ask you to challenge a lot of your beliefs and maybe to change some of your behaviors. Um, maybe some of you felt like you didn't want to be in a marriage, but now that's something to evaluate and really look at. They say that, you know, a lot of the fear that you might have about things like that is not necessarily justified. They're like, okay, so your past experience created this fear, this paranoia that you know, I, oh, I could be trapped in a situation that is total crap. And based on your experiences, that's a logical idea to have. But the problem is, is that by believing that, by constantly thinking about it, um, you're pushing love away and you're pushing healthy relationships away because it doesn't have to be the reality. You could marry the perfect person for you and not have a situation like that. Have a situation that you want to always be in. You know, one that never goes south. Um, where I mean, every relationship is going to have little hiccups, but 
what they're saying is, you know, the more that you believe that, the more that you think about it, the more likely you are to attract that into your life and the more likely it is to be a reality. So any fears like that, you are asked this month to challenge those. And that's not an easy task. Spiritually, it isn't either. So that's why all of the connection to God, Allah, spirit guides, angels, whatever, no matter how you do that, your higher self, um, is going to be very, very important for you. So what's working for you this month? And they say, well, we're trying to bring you a big old cup of love. <laughs> the universe is on your side. We started with the magician, which is all about the law of attraction. The universe, God, angels, whatever, trying to bring you something good, okay? They're trying to bring you whatever it is you're asking for, but every thought that we have, that we believe, okay, is like a prayer. It's like an ask, okay? So if I wake up and, you know, I've got crazy hair and I go, oh, I'm ugly, then I'm going to start believing that about myself and, like, I'll start to get more wrinkles and I'll start to, like, look uglier, it, that, that's the real thing like but the more that you like tell yourself oh I'm beautiful and you believe it the prettier you become isn't that magical I swear to god my teeth are getting whiter all the time and I don't even use whitening toothpaste because I tell myself I'm pretty when I'm feeling you know maybe like I'm not when I need that reminder this is just like a silly example is what I'm telling you um that like every thought that we have that we put like our faith in like our belief in that we feel an emotion for is like an ask Okay, and so um, the universe is obedient. They give you what you ask for. So be cautious, be cognizant, I guess is the lesson here. Because otherwise things are going to be out of balance and you're not going to bring anything new and exciting into your life. So if you honestly truly believe that you can have like a stable, happy relationship, one that you can count on, one that's fun and exciting and it's not boring. Like we are married for, you know, 70 years, but it's not boring, you can have that, you know, that it's fun, that it's adventurous, that it's exciting, that it's passionate, all of those things. Some of you have this idea that it's like not true. And so there's like the challenges to um, really ask the universe for what it is that you want. So a good exercise to force yourself to do this is like to write it down, you know, and then every day look at the list of the things that you're asking for and reaffirm those by reading them and adding to it. Does that make sense? Okay. So What's working against you this month? <laughs> and they're like, well, the shift in perspective and like, um, like really starting to focus in on what you want, what's working against you with that is that you realize like it's hard work. Like it's hard work to actually do that. Um, and you know, when you're already busy working on other things, it might not be the first thing that we make time for. Um, and we might psych ourselves out and say, you know what, this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. And then if you just actually sat down and did it, it isn't really that hard. Um, so I want to look at the lessons that we are overcoming aside from what we already chatted about. And they say friendship. I understand that all of my friends are in my life for a reason. And that's the same thing with anybody that you meet. You know, like nobody in your life is there for an accident and whether you're getting something from the relationship, like you're learning lessons or something like that now, or whether it's 10 years from now or two days from now, um, they're important. So just kind of think about that. Like what, what are each of these people in my life bringing to me? And, you know, what do I appreciate about each person? And, you know, what are the qualities of this person and that person that, Maybe I don't care for her so much, um, but like if I could have the opposite, you know, what are those things? And, and just write them down because it's a very powerful manifestation month for cancers. So what is the overall outcome for you in regards to love this month? And they're like, well, that depends. So, you know, if you go within and you spend, you know, and you think about, okay, why am I single? Like, what is it that I want? Like, how could somebody benefit my life? Like, instead of being my whole life, like, how could they complement my life, right? Um, then the sky is the limit. Like, anything is possible. You really have this energy this month of, like, anything is possible. Like, infinite possibilities, whatever you want. But um, even if you're saying, like, I don't want a liar, I don't want a cheater, if you're thinking about those things, though, the universe doesn't hear the word don't. They hear liar, cheater. So you have to convert that to be 
the positive opposite. You have to say, I want someone faithful. I want someone honest. I want someone kind. I want a good communicator. Positive opposites. So um, a lot of mental work this month, but it should pay off. Now let's just look at your Halloween quick for fun. And they're like, look, if you do these steps, if you actually truly work at, on it, if you put the feeling behind what it is you're trying to manifest, because this card is also about manifestation, you're moving forward and maybe by Halloween, you'll be offering love to somebody. Maybe you'll be offered love from somebody and it's like deep love. So um, all these things that you hoped for and you wished for and you dreamed of, you could have it very soon. That's like 20 days from now. So love and light gets work. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.